Hello everyone, my name is Ramke Singh and today we are going to learn how to fast the, all the sensor of device. Just yes, right. So it's a very simple code and today we will learn that how we can fast all the sensor information, all the sensor names uh, so that you can utilize that information in your game or whatever you want to choose. So let's start this video. So, so first I have taken one project and then I have created a simple XML file so that I can show my list. So this is the symbol that I have created on ID and this is my parent and you can see that this is the list. Okay. So I have XML file and then I have Java file. So you know very well that we can uh, make we can make any uh, application like you want to make a, a sensor application like uh, when someone will touch your phone so it will vibrate it will uh, so uh, it will uh, it will produce any sound so it will uh, we just uh, start uh, the flashlight so it can perform anything so uh, we are not going to do that you can do uh, by another you can do next time but today we will learn that how we can get the list of all the sensors and uh, then um, you know very well if we are starting with the if we want to work with the sensor so it is very important to know how we can start it so first thing if you want to start with so I have just taken one and I have java file and then I have taken the list I have got I am costing the list sensor and then okay so uh, first thing we must know that uh, how we can work with the sensor so if you want to work with the sensor so it is a very important thing that you have to start with the sensor manager you know very well that there are so many manager like package manager sensor manager and then you have fragment manager so we have to use here sensor manager and then I'm initializing here is uh, my code okay so here is my code that uh, we have sensor manager and then I'm just initializing my sensor manager uh, with the uh, I'm getting that information from sensor manager get system service so sensor services means uh, it will show all the sensor services means all the, the sensor and uh, then I'm creating the sensor list so this is the list and I'm passing here sensor so it will accept all the sensor so we have in slide sensor manager sensor manager give us all the sensor list it may be all type it may be related to your hardware it may be related to your software so there are three uh, sensor we use for hardware so you will learn when you will work on that but today I will show you that uh, how many sensor we have so this is simple sensor list and then I'm creating another uh, sensor list that is sensor names and this is array list so I'm just uh, uh, taking all the value from the sensor list this is sensor list uh, that I have I have taken here and then I'm getting all the names and passing into the sensor names so this is our sensor name and then I will I will pass to our list view. So how we can pass our all the list to the list view by using the adapter. So this is our this is not our custom list view. So we can pass why simply we have to create array adapter. So this is string type. So this is item adapter and then array adapter is a class. So I am just creating the object and then this is the same context. So passing this. And then we use Android or layout dot simple list item. So when we use a normal list view or a normal list, so we use a simple list item. Then we pass here our simple list name. So what is list name? This is sensor name. Name is all list. So we are passing here. And then I'm setting list sensor. See list view and set adapter. So I'm setting the adapter. And item adapter contain all the value means it is like better you are calling something and it's a bringing something so this is all and we will learn and we will see that what's output is showing 
so i want to make one request that if you are visiting my channel first time so please subscribe my channel and uh, i'm doing uh, this thing freely so it's your responsibility to help me to grow on the youtube so please uh, subscribe my channel and don't forget to give me thumbs up to this video so let's see what output we are getting so i am running on my real device so we will see that what result we are getting okay so my application is running so let's see okay let's see there are here my accelerometer magnetometer there are so many sensors in my device and uh, i'm not saying that it is it will be common in all device but uh, every device have different different configuration different different sen different sensor so it may be vary so this is all the list okay so hope you enjoy this video and if so you like this video so please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching and happy coding